Hey Libra, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of May 27th through June 2nd. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right, we have the Magician at the bottom of the deck, which is Gemini and Virgo energy. Maybe you have Gemini or Virgo placements. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo, but I truly feel that when the Magician shows up, that means that you are currently manifesting or in control of something in your life and you're doing a really good job of attracting it, making it happen. Um, kind of like you should feel very confident about yourself at this time, but maybe there's something going on right now that is um, creating a bit of a challenge. Um, kind of like you want to feel really good about this one thing that you're doing, but maybe there's something else. Maybe it's a personal situation, right? Like maybe in your work, you're killing it. You know, you're doing a great job. You're getting recognition. You're getting praise. People are noticing your hard work. Or maybe you're just feeling good because you're good at what you do. But maybe in your relationship or something else, it's like there's something going on that's kind of taking away from, you know, the thing that you feel good about. Right, so it's kind of like how do we coexist in our lives when two very different things give us different feelings, right? So uh, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups, which, you know, I think it kind of depicts that whole thing about creating that balance. With that Six of Pentacles, we have the energy of balance. We also have the energy of equal give and take. Five of Pentacles is kind of like the energy of lacking or feeling as though you don't have enough or even being disappointed. So maybe you feel right now that you're in a situation where someone isn't giving you that equal give and take. There's a lack of something and you're trying to remain positive. You're trying to focus on the good stuff. But I feel like with the Knight of Cups, your heart is still open, right? You're still hoping to receive something and get that reciprocation. So let's go ahead and clarify the five of pentacles two of pentacles yeah i kind of feel like you have to make a decision at this point kind of like you've waited as long as you possibly could have for this person to show up and do their part i feel like at this time libra the universe wants you to give yourself um, the opportunity to decide and make that difficult decision because I feel like for you when you are you know connected to someone or something it is difficult to choose to walk away from them or it is difficult to choose to go in a different direction because you will always have that hope you know maybe it will change and this is not just something that you do but you know just in general but I feel like for you because you are you know um, maybe someone that definitely likes to maintain the peace and order and harmony amongst others it is difficult but i can't even begin to emphasize how good it's going to get for you when you do make this choice right behind the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck is the two of wands the ten of pentacles the two of cups and the six of cups with the ace of wands so kind of feels like deep down inside you may have already made your decision you could be even thinking about maybe someone that you have a connection with you have a history with i feel like with the two of cups this definitely could have to do with a relationship because it kind of feels like again your heart is open but with that ten of pentacles there's confirmation things are going to get better if you choose to make that choice right if you choose to go in that direction i feel like with the two of wands it is clear the path that you prefer it is clear what you really, really want, what your ideal situation is. Um, maybe for you, it, it's about time that you decide to do that rather than wait for someone to change. So we have the star, which is Aquarius, six of swords and the strength, which is Leo. So maybe you're connecting to an Aquarius. Maybe you're connecting to a Leo. Either way, though, I feel like this is about you recognizing that you're stronger than your emotions right you're stronger than the pull that you feel you have towards a person um, i feel like even with the star there's something about you kind of feeling hopeful deep down inside about what could possibly happen if you did let this go right kind of like you could be so self-aware that you're saying you know what even though i'm having a hard time letting this energy go i do wonder sometimes what it would be like if i just completely disconnected and went this other way and I feel like with the Six of Swords, you're a lot more ready and prepared to do that than you give yourself credit for. So I just feel like this is universe reassuring you of a decision you've already made within yourself so that you realize it is not that difficult. 
All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Six of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling you, Libra, something good is on the other side of this situation. You don't need um, whatever, whatever you think you need from this person or this situation. Uh, maybe it's your work. Doesn't matter who's on the other side of it. Whatever you think you need from them, you don't. You already have it within you and you're going to receive an opportunity that confirms and proves that. You don't need them. You just need you. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor, which is Aries, and the Page of Swords. I feel like with the Page of Swords, this is about the universe saying, give this a chance. Because I feel like you may have already received an offer. Someone has already given you the opportunity. All you have to do now is accept. And I feel like part of you is contemplating. You are thinking about it. But maybe some of you are afraid to disappoint or let go of something else because you don't know how that's going to affect you or them. But I feel like universe is saying you know what you are capable of. You know what you are here to do. With that Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor, this is so much power, but it is also so much confidence. The Queen of Pentacles knows she doesn't need anyone but herself. The Emperor makes his own rules. And the Page of Swords is you getting the opportunity to discover that, to learn it for yourself. All you have to do is accept the offer, accept the opportunity, and then you will truly see how much better this gets for you. Right behind the Ace of Pentacles is the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So it kind of feels like you have the perfect opportunity um, right before you this week, Libra, to prove to yourself that you are actually um, more capable of turning over a new leaf, walking away and going in your own direction than you think. Even that Nine of Pentacles, you should feel very confident. Um, I feel like you're being given an opportunity because you deserve it, because you have earned it, you know, you have the experience or you have the wisdom or you have the resources or the abilities to make the most out of it. Um, I feel like at this time you are very, you're getting a lot of attention, right, from multiple people. And I feel like right now that could be a little bit uncomfortable. Maybe you're thinking, well, I don't know if I should give myself or give my energy to this or if I should go that way. It's kind of like you may feel overwhelmed, but I feel like the only way for you to establish this balance is by giving yourself the chance to choose where you think your energy should go. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.